I guess that is how it happened. And uh, Kathy sang this song, and he was standing there, you know, at attention, at a full, full dress attention. You know, he was right back in the, in his commanding officer's tent, hearing, hearing the officer give. And we, wa I walked over to him at that point. Nobody knew what to do. And I just walked over to this guy, stood about three feet in front of him, and I snapped off a salute. I just went, and he was just right there with it. And I said, at ease, he was at ease. And I started talking to him like his commanding officer. And I said, you are a good soldier. Whether your orders were appropriate or not is not the issue. You did as you were told to do, as you were trained to do, and you were trained to follow orders without question. We can even look at whether following orders without question is appropriate, but you were trained to do that and you did that. You did in that moment what you thought was right. You've now had second thoughts about it, but don't have second thoughts about the person you were when you followed those orders because you did what you thought was right or you never would have done it. And you can see this guy just right in front of you, just, you can just see him just, the tears started rolling down his cheeks. Still standing at, at ease, still in military at ease, but, and he was just like, and of course that's what he'd been telling himself for 20 years when he needed something exterior to himself. Because he had been hoping that his interior thought, I shouldn't have done it, but I, at the time I did what I thought was right, was not a false thought. That there was some, he was searching for some validity in the exterior world. And that this total stranger, who he never met until two days ago, could come up to him and feed back to him his exact thought on the subject, was in immediately healing for him. In many ways, and at many levels. And because of the song that Kathy sang, as a matter of fact, and because of everything else that the workshop had brought to him as an opening to awareness, an opening to awareness. He was able to see the whole picture, including those who he had killed and the role they played in the process in a new and healing way. He could see that nothing that's created on this planet is created unilaterally, but that everything is a co-creation involving the collaborative efforts of all the souls involved, including the souls of those he killed. And he even began to see the glimmer, this is a daring thing to say, but hang in there with me, the glimmer of the possibility that even those he had killed had at some higher spiritual metaphysical level agreed to show up in that time and place in that way as his target and to give their lives that he might come to this moment of clarity about what's true with regard to himself and all of life. And that the first thing he had to do in order to heal the space was to heal himself and forgive, forgive himself for doing the unforgivable. But the only way he could forgive himself from, for doing the unforgivable was to come to clarity that in the eyes of God, there's no such thing as the unforgivable. And that's an extraordinary insight for a person to receive in a moment like that. That even that was forgivable, that even Hitler went to heaven. And suddenly he saw the wisdom of that and then could take that out. And imagine a person, he was a person, by the way, of considerable personal power. He had incredible personal magnetism, as everyone in the room uh, agreed. He was a person of charisma and magnetism as he stood there even. And for him then to take that new understanding of the world at large and of life itself and of God. See, to change our understandings about God, and about life, and about each other in order to create a different world. He then became the very messenger in the world that those people that he killed gave up their lives in order he might become that. And so in the end we see that it's not really about changing the exterior effect at all, but about accepting and embracing, this is tough, the perfection of the exterior effect to realize that there's nothing imperfect in God's world that all things happen exactly and precisely, perfectly, for the right and perfect outcome to be created. But to change the interior effect, which begins with the forgiveness of self for what we imagine to be the unforgivable. And to think, and I'm going to ask Kathy to drop that song in right here, to think and to imagine 
that even the people who you have damaged the most came into your life as angels to give you the opportunity to experience that and all that it would teach you. And that you, in fact, were an angel to those people as well. That, in fact, there's nobody but angels on the whole planet. We're simply here leading each other to the next expression of who we are, the next level of clarity, the next space of willingness to forgive, and the next highest understanding of all of this. And that's why God said to me in conversations with God, I have sent you nothing but angels. (laughs) 